Hello everybody, this video will guide you through your bowel and osmosis exercise. First thing is the equipment. You'll be given a Ziploc bag with your name attached to it, a needle box, a skin model, and a stand for your bowel. Let's look at the uh, Ziploc bag first. There will be two loops of bio tissue bowel in it. But the first thing we have to take out will be all your sutures. There will be a bunch of 6 inch 3 silk sutures and 2 or 3 3 Vicro sutures which are a little bit longer. Use the needle box and line up all your needles so that it's easier for you to pick them up during your exercise. We're going to start with the uh, skin model. We're going to record all your videos, so please flash your name badge when you start your exercises. Put the skin model into the trainer box followed by the needle box. Check that you have the correct robot instruments. Progress in 1, large needle driver in 2, camera in 3, and suture cut needle driver in 4. Start with the trio silk sutures, they are about 6 inches long. And just start by doing interrupted simple sutures. When you tie the knots, the first knot is always a surgeon's knot, followed by two or three other knots to secure it. Uh, always easier to keep the tail short when you're doing a knot tying with the robot. You can cut the sutures by using the suture cut needle driver which has a scissors on the inside of it. Continue practicing interrupted sutures and knot tying for the entire length of the uh, skin defect on the model. Be careful when you're pulling on the uh, trio silks, they are quite uh, easy to break with the uh, robot instruments. You can probably get about 3 or 4 stitches from each trio silk suture but there should be a number of them in your ziplock so don't worry too much if you break a couple. Please practice uh, good uh, needle management by putting all the uh, used needles in the needle box. This interrupted suturing exercise should set you up nicely for your bowel anastomosis work which is coming up next. Next is the bowel anastomosis exercise and the bio tissue in your ziplock bag has some moisture in it so don't be too surprised. Clip one end to the stand and then the other bowel to the opposite side. 
You have to make sure that they meet in the middle without much tension. If not, your anastomosis will leak because it has to be tension free. So put the stand into the trainer box and your needle box as well. We should have a bunch of silks and a couple of trio vicros. Again, check your robot instruments, basically the same as before. This is going to be a hand-sewn two-layer vial anastomosis, starting with the posterior outer layer of interrupted trail silk sutures. Be careful as you pull through the uh, silk through the bio tissue, it tends not to slide very well. It's very easy to break the stitch as you're pulling the suture through. The posterior row stitches will be similar to the previous exercise on the skin model, interrupted uh, silk sutures. For the first stitch after I tie it, I hold it with the third arm because it brings the side of the bow anteriorly, making it easier to put subsequent stitches. The distance between each stitch probably be about two to three millimeters apart. So the loops of bowel you'll be given will be about four inches each. Uh, so your anastomosis can be as wide as two inches. So I would line up at least a two inch row of uh, posterior silks here. This completes the posterior outer layer of silks. Next, switch the needle driver with the scissors and we're going to cut our enterotomies. Make sure you leave enough room between the suture line and your enterotomy for the inner layer. Switch back to your suture cut needle driver and for the inner row we will use trio vibro sutures. For the running suture we will anchor the first stitch on the posterior wall. So we're gonna tie this uh, suture here. There's a lot more suture to pull through because the vibro is about nine inches to enable you to complete the anastomosis. Once you've tied your knot, cut the uh, short end off and you're gonna run the rest of the stitch on the back wall. Please make sure you get good bites of uh, both walls. If you pull on the stitch, 
it will elevate those walls anteriorly making it easier for you to throw your stitches so just keep going working towards the corner So continue simple running sutures until the corner and once you've rounded the corner as you can see for the anterior wall we're going to do a canal stitch. I'm going to start a canal here. I'm getting short on my stitch so I'm going to start the next one. So this is the other trio Vicro 9 inch. Look for where you started the previous stitch and anchor this one right next to it on the posterior wall. Tie the knot, cut the short end off and then run the stitch the other way. So continue simple running suture until the corner. As you can see, it is possible to stitch with your left hand when you're using the robot even though you're right-handed. So once we reach the interior wall, we will do a canal stitch. And just make sure you tighten um, the bow after each throw so that the mucosa will be inverted. This is probably the last stitch because we've reached the end of the stitch coming from the right. I'm gonna tie them together and this will complete the inner layer. For the anterior outer layer, we use interrupted trio silk sutures again, similar to the posterior layer. Ceromuscular bites about 2 to 3 millimeters apart.
This should be the last stitch on the anterior outer layer. And this completes the bowel anastomosis. If you still have time, you can cut the whole anastomosis out and use the opposite sides of the bowel to practice another anastomosis. Please clean up after yourself, put the sharps in the sharps bin and take all the stitches out of the skin model. Thank you very much. Enjoy!